Some Minneapolis neighbors are taking their safety into their own hands. They live in the Phillips neighborhood and built barricades on each end of their street to block people from passing through. Our David Schumann talked to neighbors who say it was necessary and it's working. Hello everybody, welcome to the news. No reason to think the sounds of children would be unusual for a summer day, but here... It was not safe to be walking on the street. We were like, a no, we prefer to be inside. That's all changed now. Neighbors say thanks to the blockades. They closed the street so we can like, ride our bikes oh, cool. on the street. They put them up about 10 days ago at both ends of this street near Lake and Cedar. Before, they say crime was out of control with open drug dealing and prostitution. A lot of violence, a lot of shootings. People being robbed at gunpoint. Our children couldn't play outside because there were needles, used needles everywhere. Neighbors say the barricades have caused some trouble with the city's traffic control, and officers came out earlier this week. But they seem to have reached at least a temporary peace. We've been getting support from the officers. When we called, they knew what we were doing and they were very supportive, and I want to tell them thank you. One woman said it was actually someone affiliated with the Minneapolis Police Department who suggested the blockades. Five to seven people rotate for neighborhood watches, too, which MPD supports. This problem has been giving us uh, a strength because now we are together, so we are, we'll be fighting for a better place to live, to stay, to work, because nobody else is doing nothing for us. Many people on the block feel their city council member, Alondra Cano, has failed them in letting it get to this point. She didn't get back to us with a comment on the situation here. Near Lake and Cedar, David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. Neighbors told David they hope to work with the city on a more permanent road closure.